feel different? Completely. But after 12 years of school and all we get is a piece of paper, it's kind of a ripoff. I mean, we deserve, like, one of those iPod things or something. No one actually uses those. Woo! We did it! <laughs> Here, Chloe, take a picture of us. Okay, for a photo. Ugh, okay. this is not my job. Wait, no, Hi. put the camera on us. Who's Why that? are you taking pictures of my guy friends? It's so embarrassing. Hi, Lisa. Hi, I'm Chloe. I go here. So, it'll be Monday, right? Yep. Three months of sightseeing and gorging on steak frites, watching my mom pretend to speak French. When you come back? Uh, well, the trip got extended a little bit, so I think I'll be back for like a day or two in August, but then I have to head to Brown, so I'm actually not sure if we'll see each other. So, so I guess this is goodbye? Let's look at it as to be continued. How are things going, man? Chloe and I are... are easy. It's good. But maybe too good? I mean, there hasn't been any drama, which is weird for us. You know, and I, I hate to admit this, but I kind of thrive on it. You know? It's making me a little nervous. No drama makes you nervous? I don't get you, man. Okay, hear me out. So when we first started dating, we had that, like, unpredictable, anything can happen, do it on the playground type of vibe, right? And now it's Costco trips doing laundry type of vibe. Don't worry, I'm sure there'll be much drama ahead in the land of joint laundry. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know. Time to shake things up. Hmm. So are things going with Sarah? We've been hanging out. It's nice to be with someone who has their stuff together. Now that I'm 30, I don't want to waste my time anymore. I hear you, man. All right. Uh, sopranos came in a little late on the verse. Altos, let's check on that harmony at the end. But overall, so good, you guys. So good. Reminder, the spring semi-formal is this Friday. So if anyone wants to volunteer to help set up for that, the sign-up sheet is outside of the gym. Are you going to be there, Miss Taylor? <laughs> I would love to. Uh, but Friday's actually my birthday. Believe it or not, teachers have lives. That's not as cool. It's crazy. OK, see you guys tomorrow. Do you want to hang out after school? Oh, I actually have to study for the history test, but maybe we could study together? Sounds good. Chloe, um, why are you here? I keep a key for emergencies, and we have an emergency. Okay, then, uh, why are you using my nail polish and drinking my coconut water? I think Mark is cheating on me. What? Are you serious? Yes, all the classic signs are there. He, he put a passcode on his phone, and he leaves at odd hours, and he comes home smelling very girly, and you know how I am about smells. There's gotta be an explanation for all of it, I'm sure. Have you talked to Peter? Does he know anything? No, um... We really haven't spoken in weeks, so. Hey, I know you're sad about Peter, but the easiest way to feel better is to get out there and meet more guys. I'm going out with someone tonight, but I just feel like lately dating's just been like signing my bio and going through the motions. Yeah, but that's what it takes to move on. Isn't that what you want? My postmates is here. Yeah, so Brown, and then finance in Singapore, then India, and then some traveling, and now I'm back here. Cool. How do you like being back? It's all right. It took me a little bit to adjust, but... Is dating any different here than overseas? Uh, you know, it's exactly the same. Sucks there, sucks here. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I feel like when you're 30, you want to get past the dating part as soon as possible and just get to the actual relationship. You know, it's kind of like... No games, no nonsense. We know what we want. Yeah, we should. Don't mean to be too personal, but have you been in anything serious since you've been back? Uh, yeah, actually, kind of reconnected with my best guy friend from high school. But I screwed it up, so... Guess it wasn't meant to be? Yeah, I guess not. Where are you going? 
I got a uh, business meeting. At 10 at night? Yeah, it's these uh, investors. They're, they're from overseas, so, you know, the whole time difference or whatever. Anyways, I'll be gone for about an hour. Might be a little longer, so don't wait up. That is the best present I've gotten in a really long time. We know it's not till Friday, but we wanted to wish you a happy birthday since you won't be at the dance. I'm sorry to miss it. I always loved dances back when I was in high school. Anyways, get out of here. Go, go, go. Have fun, you guys. So, you have a date to the dance? Not yet. Still hoping somebody will ask me, though. I'm sure someone will. We'll see you later? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Following him was a mistake. There's gotta be an explanation why he's at Sawhorse right now. No one goes to a bar during the day unless they're having an affair. Or they're an alcoholic. Or they're a bartender. Or if they just wanna go to the bar during the day. You know what? Forget it. The point is, he's definitely having an affair. Oh, not the place where we first met. I mean, what a scumbag. What do I do? The only way to put a stop to it is to go in and to catch him. <sighs> okay, Lisa. Uh... I know I talk a big game and I like seem very confident, but I don't think I could take seeing him with another girl. I really love him. Chloe, you have to know. Just go in there, and if you need backup, I'll be right out here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go in there. And if I need you, I'll just scream, screw you, Mark. It's especially egregious that you're doing this at the place where we first met. If you had any decency, you would take this woman to a motel or something. Not too nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Short, sweet, that's classic Chloe punchline. Okay. Kill it. I don't be want brave. A fist bump right okay. now. I thought I'd lighten the mood. <laughs> Hello? Mark! Hello, are you here? Hey. Where is she? Take a seat. What? What's going on? What are you... Chloe, take a seat. Okay, this is the first date with Chloe. I'm taking her to this really romantic restaurant. She's gonna love it. <sighs> okay, this is the first time I've been ghosted. So now, I'm gonna ghost bust. <sighs> okay, so this is the first time I meet Chloe's sister, and I got her a Sharsh, Sharsh Kitty board. So this is the first time me and Chloe got in a big argument. And I still wanna make it work. I mean something, right? This is our first time celebrating an anniversary. I, I mean, it's only three months, but I can't wait for the next three. And then the next three... Are you taking I'm... a selfie? Don't take one without <laughs> me. What's up, you guys? Get lit. Hashtag Friday. <laughs> it's a picture. Put, put a filter on it. This is the first time waking up next to my new roommate. She just moved in. Say hi. This is the first day of the rest of our lives. Chloe, from the first moment I met you here, I've been mesmerized, confounded, and deeply insulted, <laughs> and I never wanted to end. You're the most beautiful, fascinating, frustrating woman I've ever met, and you keep me guessing. And even though we've said goodbye to our wild and crazy single lives and we've become boring people in a serious relationship. I'm not boring. Sorry, continue. There's no one else I'd rather be boring with. <sighs> Chloe, will you marry me? <laughs>
You know Joanna's here. I'm aware. Are you gonna say something? Not really in the mood. Look, I don't totally know what happened between the two of you, but your best friend is marrying into the family of her best friend. So figure it out. Suck it up. Because there's not always gonna be a big room with a corner you can stand in. Okay? Chloe and Mark, huh? Yeah, I'm crazy. <clears throat> so how are you? Um, good. Uh, I ended up getting that long-term sub position um, for the choir class. Oh, that's great. How's Sarah? Fine. You guys sure reconnected pretty quickly. Was there something wrong with that? I mean, you and I weren't really together. Come on, Peter. We were together. Are you serious, Joanna? I know that I couldn't say it then, okay? Yeah. But I, I needed time to figure it out, and I did, okay? And I went to your house to tell you, oh, and I... Oh, you went to my house? Yes. And I saw you with her. Do you, do you know what that made me feel like? Do you know how much that hurt me? Look, I'm sorry about that, but you, you hurt me too. You know, I, I didn't need time. I've been wanting this since I was 18 years old, Joanna. And I stood before you asking you for an answer, but you couldn't give me one. Do you know how badly that hurt me? Okay, so we both hurt each other, okay? But I can't stop thinking about us, okay? I miss my best friend. I want, I want you back, Peter. Like, Mark and Chloe, like, how the hell are Mark and Chloe getting engaged today and we're standing in the exact same spot we were five months ago? Just like single, just searching for something more. See, that's what this is all about for you. You made that pact because you didn't want to be alone. That's not true, okay? I just feel like I'm never going to be anything more than just a backup plan. Peter. Okay, look, I got, I got to go. I'm sorry I won't be at your 30th. Have a happy birthday. Okay, this is the first batch, and... Oh, here's the Caspi order. This needs to go out by Monday. Business is not gonna fall apart just because you're going to San Fran for a few days. Okay, there's just a lot to take care of. For the interview? Yeah. All right, dashboard confessional. Jesse said this show is so good. I'm really excited. If you can find it. Oh, before I forget, I looked at my work schedule and I might have a few weeks off in June. So I could come visit you in San Francisco. Yeah, let's hold off on making plans till I get the job. I could just make the reservation anyway. You know how things book up with summer travel. And if you don't get it, we can just take a vacation. Possibly. But let's not book anything yet. Peter, what's the big deal with planning something a few months in advance? Just not sure where I'll be. Wherever you're gonna be, we're still gonna be together, right? I'm sorry, Sarah, I... Are you serious? I just don't know if I could do this anymore. After all you put me through? I know how it seems, but I'm just trying to be responsible here. I'm such an idiot for trusting you. I wasn't trying to hurt you, Sarah. No, Peter, you play the nice guy part really well. I bet all along I was just a way to get back at Joanna. Classy. I just know that I don't feel the way I should feel. And I don't want to put you through that because that's Save the... your breath. You could have just said, it's not you, it's me.
Hey, you must be Peter. Uh, you're interviewing with Tim, right? Yeah, hi, I'm Peter. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Mia. I work with Tim, and I'm a part of the creative team here. Oh, nice to meet you, too. And I'm a huge fan of, well, actually, everything you guys make. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you're ready, I'll take you up to meet Tim. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I saw your portfolio. Everything looks really Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Dirty 30, stuff your face. They're very pretty, but I'm not really hungry right no, now. No, no, you have to have one. Cupcake for breakfast. I made them myself, and I never make anything myself, even when I say that I make them myself. What's the plan for tonight? Um, I, I think I'm just gonna chaperone the dance tonight. Are you, are you serious? You're voluntarily choosing to spend your evening with a bunch of awkward, hormonal, smelly teenagers instead of us? Yeah, I usually don't agree with Chloe, but she's right. It's your birthday. <laughs> I just... I really don't want to make a big deal out of today, you know? And the kids make me happy, so... Yeah, no, I'm sure it'll be a swell time. Have you heard from Peter? Mm, no. It's fine. So, Josh told me you guys go way back. Oh, yeah. Josh is an old friend, and it's been incredible what he's been able to do here. I would have joined from the beginning, except I had to focus on my family's business. Oh, is that the apparel business you're running in L.A.? Yeah, my parents started in the early 80s when they first came to America. Oh, man, that sounds like an amazing story. So how's that going, working with them? It's great. Um, you know, there are disagreements at times, but I always say, if you're able to work with your parents, you could pretty much work with anybody. <laughs> so what made you finally decide to make the transition? I just had some encouragement from a good friend. Well, hey, thanks again for coming in. No, thank you for having me, and this this was a great opportunity. Well, we, we really enjoyed it, and we will follow up. Okay. All right. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Okay, bye-bye. that fell in love a long time ago and just didn't know how to say it yet. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Peter. You around tonight? A bunch of us are getting drinks. I think it might be a good opportunity to uh, introduce you to some of the other members of the team. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah. It's cool to go stag. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm gonna go get some ribbon for all of these. All right. So no date tonight? You know, there's still time to ask someone. There's nobody I want to go with. Really? No one? Emma's like my best friend. Yeah, that's why it'd be so great. You have three hours, get on it. And if you don't ask her, I'm gonna have to fail you. Miss Taylor? Peter, what are you doing here? It's your 30th birthday and I made a promise. If you're still single and I'm still single. I remember. Is that why you're here? Lisa sent me the video from the wedding. I meant every word. 
was perfect. I'm so sorry that I didn't trust you. And, you know, I'm sorry that I... So this is what it takes to get Peter Ma to a high school dance, huh? Well, I had a date this time. <laughs> so, I have something to tell you. I got the job. What? Peter! That's amazing! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they called me when I got off the plane, and it'll be six months up there, and then I'll be transferred back to L.A. Hey. You okay? Yeah. This is really exciting. I'm not sure if I should take the job. What? No. No, you have to take it. Yeah, it's six months and hours away from you. Peter, we waited 12 years. What's six months? How about you come with me? You know, the school year will be done in a few weeks. No, I would love to, but they actually offered me this summer teaching position. Oh my god, congratulations. Yeah, so I just, I feel like I have to be here, you know? I, I have to do this for me. Yeah, I get it. I kind of have to do this for me, too. You know, there's something else we could do. You know, we, we can we can make another pact and... <laughs> I, can... I will pour this all over your face. I will do it. I'm just joking. <laughs> Look, I'm sure the time will fly by. Yeah. It's not goodbye. It's to be continued. First day? <laughs> it's not bad. Can't stop thinking about you. Oh, although LA has spoiled me. I mean, my apartment is the size of my old kitchen. <laughs> well, I can help you make it feel more like home when I come visit. Only a few more weeks. Can't wait. Hey, Peter, you coming? Yeah, yeah, one second. No, who's that? Uh, yeah, she's one of my colleagues, uh, Mia. She put together this welcome drinks thing for me tonight. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's so nice of her. Well, I don't want to keep you, and uh, I gotta prep the kids for the concert tonight anyways, so... Yeah, that's right. Uh, good luck. Dude, come on, new guy. Let's go! Hey. Everyone's waiting! Oh, Peter, I... Miss you. <laughs>